Hi, welcome back to the shop. Thanks for stopping by. This week's project, I'm going to turn a wood I've never actually seen and never heard tell of before. Um, got some family who came back east for a visit from uh, Western Canada. This, I guess, grows in Vancouver on Vancouver Island. At least that's one of the places it grows. And the wood's called green arbutus, and it is really dense and really heavy. So uh, I've got these three pieces here, which are all green, and you see the bark's really smooth on them. Now, I don't know if the bark grows like this on them when they're older or younger, but you see there's a little bit of rough on this and it's starting to come off, but anyhow, these ones are green and they are really heavy. This piece weighs 10 pounds. Uh, it's a very dense wood. These ones are dry, and this one actually someone had put on a lathe and just rounded it up a little bit. So I'm going to take this piece, and I'm going to try and make a goblet out of it, because I'm really anxious to see how it turns. You can see it's nice tight grain wood. It's got a good solid pith in it, so shouldn't be a bad candidate to make a goblet. So I'm going to cut this in half on the bandsaw, and uh, really curious to see how it turns. So I'm going to put a piece on the lathe and crank out a goblet, just to see how this, this wood looks. Alright, I was actually going to make this the top, and I think I still will. I'm not too concerned about that knot, but it's got some really nice grain I like to have in the in the cup part itself, so I'm going to leave that. I'm going to turn a tenon on the bottom, and um, flip it around and put it in the forge on chuck.
All right, we're nice and clean here now. All right, let's just flip around. We're gonna haul this out. Alrighty, I'm going to sand this up and I'll bring it back. Alright, got a really nice finish on the inside now. I sanded it up at 320 and I used Yorkshire Grit regular micro fine and I put Hampshire Sheen high gloss on the middle and I'll show you how to use those on the outside. Uh, we're going to bring it back up top here now and we'll finish up our profile. Alright, so now I've got a Carter uh, Sphere chuck here. It's soft faced. So I'm going to use that on the inside just to keep things stable while I turn it. I am going to put a piece of cloth on it just to keep it from marking. It's it shouldn't mark anyway, but I'm just going to put it in there for a little added protection. Turn this in so it's just snug. And before I part it off, I'll take this back out and ensure that it didn't mark my finish. Now, before I get too much turned, I'm going to sand the outside of this cup. Uh, that way, if it distorts any from being small, it'll, I'll have a good chance to sand it here. I gotta peel some of the stock away with a skew chisel.
you know, leave just a little design on the top and the bottom like that, just a little something. Nice, clean, crisp profile on that. I don't think I want to go any smaller than that on the stem. that down just a little smaller to get clear of the pith so I'm gonna make this one a little bit smaller now. So this is really smooth, so I'm going to probably start sanding this with 240 grit, and uh, I'll bring you back when I'm finished sanding. All right, I'll sand it up to 320 now. Um, you can see there are some little voids in the knots, but they don't, uh, I don't think they take away from the piece any. I'm going to leave them. I'm not going to fill them with anything. I'm going to leave them just as they are. Uh, I'm going to use Yorkshire grit regular now. This will get me up to 1,000 grit. Just put some more cloth. Wipe it on the outside of the piece. Turn the lathe on the same speed as you would when you're sanding, somewhere between 450 and 550 RPM. If you do a good job with your sanding, up to 240. I go to 320 most of the time. I don't always, but most of the time. But if you do a good job sanding and, you, and the only thing left for defects in the piece is the sanding lines from the 240 grit paper, this will take it out perfectly pretty much every time. All right, now we're gonna go with the microfine, which will give us the equivalent of a 1500 grit finish. Exactly the same process. The only difference is microfine is white and obviously finer. So I'll do this part and I'll bring you back uh, when I'm putting the finish on the outside. All right, I'm gonna put on some Hampshire Sheen High Gloss. Let that set up a little bit and then we'll buff it off. All right, let's take this tailstock back out of here, see how we made it on the inside. 
Good, no marks. I'm gonna take a thin parting tool now and just undercut this a little bit. clean cut. Now, if you're still with me, thanks for sticking around. I really appreciate it. Thanks again to everyone who subscribes to the channel and watches my videos. I appreciate that a ton as well. If you haven't subscribed and like what you saw, please do consider subscribing. Uh, it doesn't cost anything and it does help the channel out a ton. And uh, please leave a comment or a thumbs up or a thumbs down, depending on what you thought of the video. And if you feel inclined, sharing it helps a ton as well. Uh, you can see I'm going to put some oil on the bottom of this for a final finish on the very bottom. And I'm going to leave some pictures up at the end, the same as usual. Thanks again to Dwayne and Wanda for bringing this wood uh, back east for me to have a go at. And we'll see you next time.